the elephant in the room. The Great Barrier Reef is literally half dead and no one is even talking about it. <laughs> like, I didn't even know any of this was happening until I saw a BuzzFeed article about it today. And that is definitely not something you want to see while scrolling through Facebook. I mean, it breaks the internet when, like, love her, but when Ariana Grande gets her heart broken, you know? But, like, the ocean is literally half dead and no one even thought to tell me? Okay, not the ocean, but... I'm honestly kind of pissed my mom didn't say anything. She's usually the one who hits me with those kinds of facts. Like the bees. Damn, my mom loves guilting me about bees dying. Like, which I definitely didn't have anything to do with, but that does not stop her. She hates that I live in this city. She says it's too industrious, which, obviously, it's the biggest city in the country. I guess I do feel kind of guilty living here. I mean, I'm certainly not helping the bees living in this small, ridden city. Sometimes all I can see the city as is a big garbage pit. Just endless trash. I've never even seen the Great Barrier Reef. Like, on planet Earth, I guess. Not in real life. I probably should before it's too late. <laughs> That sounded so morbid. <laughs> like, that should have been the end of a Grey's Anatomy episode or something. <laughs> ah. It honestly got me kind of upset about the whole thing, so I did some research on it all. Well, I Googled it and read like two articles, but that's probably more than any of you did. <laughs> Basically, what's happening is called uh, coral bleaching, which happens when the ocean waters are too warm aka global warming. The water is too warm and it kills the algae, the coral's food source. So then the coral starves and dies. I'm still not sure why it's called bleaching. I think because the coral goes white as it dies, but I'll get back to you on that one. Oh, and the worst part about all of this is that it isn't something that's been steadily happening. It started in 2016. 20 fucking 16. In three years, we've killed half the Great Barrier Reef. 800 miles of coral. Irreparable damage. There's a hopelessness, I feel, when it comes to the world. Like, there's so much wrong in it that there's nothing I could even try to do to actually correct it all. I know people spend their whole lives fighting for things like this, but I'm just an average person. I'm not an environmental scientist or change maker or any of that. I'm just me. And there's certainly nothing I could do to actually save the Great Barrier Reef. I bet a lot of people cried when they found out it was dead or dying. Like people in some research place on the ocean, all crying together, hugging, telling each other it'll all be okay. We'll find a way to save it. And I didn't even know any of this was happening. If something as huge and significant and magical as the Great Barrier Reef could die, and I didn't even know, what hope is there for me? What's going to happen when I die? <laughs> There's certainly not going to be any ocean research people crying for me. <laughs> Obviously, my family will be sad. But after that, I'm just gone. Washed away 